I'm I'm not that big a fan of the Io and Lich as support duo as well. Well, we're gonna we're okay. gonna find out what's Vici. gonna happen. We, we'll go with Vici. Ben okay. was smart last time. Wait, I was jump tip for Davici. Okay, I be with heads ben. up, guys. Alliance vs Fnatic is on Dota Major Two. We're gonna go straight to the game because it's over to Game Two of Vici Gaming versus Team Spirit. We were talking about during the game, during the draft, Dazzle might have been for their hero. They needed a defensive support to deal with the corners here. And Dazzle would have also allowed them to do the Roshan. But just basically the core heroes were able to do the Roshan itself. Okay. It worked. They grabbed the agent. Oh, but even in the neighborhood. They got one of the bounty runes here as well. Always want to fly. We'll start with the bottle. Iceberg grabs the ages. Ramsey's going to be changing things up here as the Beastmaster. And he'll be heading all the way up towards the top that you and I have been discussing a lot uh, during the breaks, uh, we've had a lot of time to discuss, is that Vici Gaming tends to play pretty slow. I mean, historically, FY is known for these... Oh, the toss. Three, oh, mid lane. They do get the toss off onto Super. They're going to pull it back. Tower almost doing the job here, and it will in the end. So not only do they get a Roshan, not only do they have two bottles on the IO and Tiny and a Bounty Room and an Aegis, they now get a First Blood as well. Continues to go at this rate. If everything is like smooth for Team Spirit, they get their level 6, they should be able to control the map and get the next Roshan, they'll be in full position. Mid lane, Avalanche on the super, they get the toss up and down, it's not quite when the Avalanche starts, they don't get the full bonus damage, but it's enough. And they get the kill. kill, and it looks like the cask isn't enough, Fenrir being run down by auto attacks, oh, Iceberg gets the jam, he's gonna make it out, there's the bottle turn, then the stick, the strike. Oh, not gonna get oh the job done, God. and oh, he's gonna fly, will barely perish, but... Well worth it. Another kill on the mid Alchemist. They only lose an IO for it. They're trying to gank the boy. And again, it's it's not like oh it was a bad chrono. It was a necessary one, but it's all because the strategy forced them into it. So now, Spirit looking for the final two to tower in 30 minutes. You might not stun the I4 was over, but at this rate, it's coming back. It's a Shanghai high major. Chrono Spear does get up. It's a very good one. The Sun Spear is always going to fly. It's enough to finish him off. I say he's able to jump away, but Iceberg is rampaging through the back line. That epicenter, five seconds in counting that fly. Maybe looks for the turn. Is he going to insta channel it? Does he want to go in? There's one agent available. It's a double kill for Iceberg. A monster kill for the man. And that oh is God. not the hero you want to be committing Trump to. Even on. Commit for the mech. They want to end the game right now. On to Afterlife. Well, you know the old saying, Winter. United we stand and divided Wait. we fall. Dude, he, right now they are divided. He sold his mech? I thought he got a mech. Epicenter's coming. Afterlife is going for the big solo. The Mono is going to find the sun strike there, but it's split by Iceberg. The Seymour swing forward. He's going to turn this one. He gets off the spot. One more right click. Hammers down the Scorpion. And then jets back to safety. Oh my god. The power of teamwork and friendship. 150 gold short. The pot creeps forward. The slaughter some catapults and they'll make Mitch meet of the wave. Now the tower down. The rack's exposed. Spirit keeps the juices flowing. Escape again. Keeping the secure iceberg safety. They'll tether forward. They'll be out good at the spread they can contain here. They get the sun off of burning. They're going to toss the force spirit on his head. Iceberg no rolling right into the photo spirit. They cut off the head of the tree. He's going to lose the ages of the back. And then he incinerates the lift. They're in the very good hold thus far. They pop the ages. They've gotten one, but the burrow. Just a bit too slow for the blink out from Iceberg. This oh does buy time for the Agonim. They, they still have Epicenter, so... Team and Spirit, they hold. Team Spirit is going to be thinking twice about continuing the Siege here. Right now, that was still a really, really good hold, even though they lost their tower. Uh, Team Spirit is going to have to... Try and regroup, or maybe he's going to get a pick off. Oh, they find that fly, though. He's out of the stage. Oh, oh, that's oh. out. There's no Chrono to save him. He's the high ground. Oh, and down he goes. This is getting hard for BG. Ice, ice, ice next. One by one, they start crumbling. Super trying to turn it, though. He's got normally. He does have the Radiant front line as well now. If they keep on running, he's going to burn them down. Cheese is ready to turn this fight on its head. He may have to pop it up the hill. The Silence of Super is going to stun himself now. Could be turned on. Ice for the toss. He's waiting for the Avalanche. Cut that TD. Yes! The team love! Third on Super, but the depth is left. Hope to cover the retreat. Not enough though. And now burning. One by one. DC Gaming have overextended. They've lost four heroes. They get cleaned up. 19 to 6 to score. Oh and my just God. when it looked like this game was turning and Vici's fortunes with it, 
They crumble, overextend, and may have just lost their first lane of racks at 26 minutes. That was so close to being a comeback delay, but the X break down ice, but ice, but he do it, come up. Can they actually get him here? They die, the death board comes through, but it's in the end. He's a true opponent. Two C gaming hang on, but the chain frost comes through. Looking to end it in my god, it does. Super half point down as well. Death's piling in. Helter Skelter Spirit has been, but they are now gonna take that full lane of ranks. They keep on moving forward. BKB up on the tiny. A maelstrom for the profit. The map control is gonna be unreal. Spirit, putting those lanes slowly creep forward. They bring in the Prophet. He's going to directly join the main host. They commence. Third Siege and BT right at that moment are going to smoke. They've got the whole combo ready, which needs to be perfect. The BKB's already come out from the side. He's not going to be an easy kill. The Chrono is deployed. And the better family. He gets the whole back lane. Right? The whole of the The Tempany plays as well. They've gotten two. Almost four afterlife down. Always want to fly next. On the run of the aisle. With the back. BK Gaming. Clean them up. But oh, by the way, there's a rock. And that rock is unkillable. He finishes the job. He will finish off the final rack and he comes rushing back in. Perfect combo, not enough. Burning destroyed again. And BG, one last good show of teamwork before they are sent packing to the lower bracket by an impressively strong team spirit. Yeah, it's time for we'll again for BG Gaming, passing on the loser's bracket. Can they make a better run? Can they make a similar run? Uh, this one looks even more difficult than the last one, honestly.